complications of fracture pelvis the most important and the most serious complication in unstable fracture is injury of pelvic vessels leading to severe internal hemorrhage in unstable fracture pelvis the patient may lose two or three liters of blood and severe shock as usual may lead to acute renal failure and the adult respiratory distress syndrome which is the main cause of this in this patient therefore shock acute renal failure and adult respiratory distress syndrome are very serious in unstable fractures also in unstable fractures the bone moves displaced visceral injuries are very common like what this is the urinary bladder covered with peritoneum if there is a fracture in the anterior arch this lead to injury of the anterior of the brother and this is called extra peritoneal rupture of the bladder because leakage of urine is outside the peritoneum cavity this is a peritoneum this black line and the peritoneal cavity is closed and the leakage here in the pelvic cellular tissue this is extra peritoneal rupture of the bladder or rupture of this what is this simplex pubis or pubic bones may displace backward leading to rupture of urethra and this rupture of urethra inside the pelvis and the call intra pelvic rupture of urethra there may be also injury of this what is this injury of rectum or anal canal injury of blood vessels injury of pelvic nerves especially sciatic nerve general complications are very very common in this patient besides shock there is also complication prolonged bed rest dvt bed sores etc etc um, in case of uh, fracture pelvis there may be vertical instability if the bone displays the upward and heal like this the length of the lower limb becomes shorter and if male union occur permanent shortening of the lower limb may occur sure uh, affection of uh, symphysis pubis sacroiliac joint this may lead to secondary osteoarthrosis if there is uh, bad healing of fracture pelvis and disturbance in the body with transmission also osteoarthrosis of hip joint may occur um, what is the clinical picture of patient with fracture pelvis? First of all, this is a major severe trauma. General examination and the careful assessment, A, B, C, D. And look to the gluteal region and the flanks of the patient. If there is severe contusion, in the gluteal region and in the flanks and the upper part of the thigh scrotum this indicate severe bleeding therefore contusion swelling in the flanks gluteal region this indicates severe hemorrhage um, always there is a history of severe trauma with pelvic pain and tenderness ask the patient to stand if the patient can stand this means that body weight transmission is still normal 
and the pelvic ring is integrated and this is a stable fracture but in unstable fracture ask the patient to stand never I can't stand um, signs of unstable fracture is very very important signs of instability first of all the lower limb if there is external rotation of the pelvis as open book there is external rotation of the lower limb with the pelvis and if there is vertical instability shortening of the lower limb therefore external rotation of lower limb means open book deformity and rotational instability if there is shortening this means vertical instability manual stress test is very important manual stress test compress the pelvis from the sides if you discover that there is yielding of the pelvis the hip bones and the pelvic bones are yielding there is a slight mobility this means instability of the pelvis also palpate palpate the hip bone palpate the iliac crest during palpation there may be gap or interruption or palpable displacement in the bones show this patient we should stress in the clinical picture manifestations of complication like rupture bladder rupture urethra injury of nerves manifestation of severe shock in case of injury of blood vessels in the pelvis finally deformity deformity this is very very important look for the pelvis in this patient the pelvis is broad and flat like open book deformed sure due to rotational instability the lower limb is externally rotated due to vertical instability measure the length of the lower limb on both sides there is shortening of the lower limb due to vertical instability displacement of hip bone upward by the action of the bone the muscles of the trunk pull the affected side of the pelvis up and rotation externally by the weight of the lower limb if uh, you put your lower limb uh, in the position of rest you will find that the normal weight and the normal position of rest of the lower limb is external rotation take the pelvis in external rotation and the lower limb is external rotated investigation is sure billing x-ray and proposer view inlet view and the outlet view view taken on the inlet of the pelvis and view taken from the outlet of the pelvis and this x-ray show fracture iliac bone on one side separation of symphys pubis fracture pubic bone superior and inferior pubic remai on the opposite side um, treatment of this patient treatment of this patient this is a major trauma need a b c the first priority airway obstruction breathing bleeding should be detected and have deserved the first priority 
um, associated injuries are very very common and usually have priority over treatment of the bone fracture shock is very very important to be corrected in this patient in a stable fracture the condition is very easy rest in bed with analgesics and the physiotherapy after uh, relief of pain within few days the patient start to move out of the bed the problem is unstable fractures unstable fracture rapid initial stabilization of the fracture by pelvic binder if this is not sufficient and efficient stabilize the pelvis with external fixator why initial stabilization is very very important the book is opened and the raw area of the bone is bleed i want to close the book so that pressure of the two halves of the pelvic ring will help to control bleeding if initial stabilization is not enough to control bleeding and there is vascular instability urgent angiography to see the bleeding vessel and therapeutic embolization of the bleeding vessel to control bleeding if all the previous measures fails to control bleeding urgent exploration backing in the pelvis and surgical hemostasis finally this is uh, the treatment of unstable fracture over reduction and internal fixation this is a fractured pelvis thank you for good listening and good luck